Hello, I'm Congressman Jim Langevin. And I'm Congressman Don Bacon. We both agree that the future success of our country depends on the well-being of our children. We have the duty as a nation to empower every child so they have the same sense of promise and possibility as any other youth regardless of their circumstances. I was a foster parent and it was such a great experience to expand our family and to raise what turned out to be two amazing adults. Part of the reason I'm a co-chair of the Foster Youth Caucus was to increase awareness of the foster system and to look for ways to improve it. And I was fortunate enough to grow up with many foster brothers and sisters. My parents taught me the importance of helping others and the example they set by providing a stable and loving home to foster youth in need continues to shape my work in Congress. That's why I'm also a co-chair of the Foster Youth Caucus. And we're working across the aisle to end the unregulated custody transfer of adopted children, a frightening phenomena also known and referred to as rehoming. Reuters first shined a national spotlight on rehoming in 2013 with a series of investigative reports on parents and guardians seeking to abandon their adopted children by advertising them on online forums. This is disgusting and breaks our promise to these children that they will be taken care of. Abandoning a child with a stranger outside the safeguards of the child welfare system, leaving them vulnerable to exploitation, is negligent at best. Yet on the federal level and in the vast majority of states, current law doesn't clearly treat it as such, creating confusion for child protective services and leaving children unprotected. We cannot continue to allow children to fall through the cracks. Rehoming is a dangerous loophole in the system that we intend to close with our bipartisan Safe Home Act. The Safe Home Act is a bipartisan bill that will classify rehoming as a form of child abuse under the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act, creating a clear national standard. By establishing this national standard, Child Protective Services will be provided with a clear authority to properly investigate cases of rehoming. Together, we can raise awareness of this important issue and pass this legislation to better protect our nation's most vulnerable youth. Our kids deserve safety, warmth, and stability, and I look forward to working with Congressman Langevin to get this bill passed. Thank you.